Hello gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, a cord cutting, or a breakup coaching session, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting reading. I hope everybody is doing well, vibing high, and living your best life. We are going to get a look-see at what is coming towards you in the next seven days. There's somebody here that is a homebody. You love being at home. You are very kind, very gentle, and very nurturing. You embody kindness, very approachable. Whoever's coming towards you here is uh, very physically attractive, but this is somebody that can be imposing. This person is a little impulsive. They are very possessive over you. They get very possessive. So be careful if you're meeting new lovers that you don't get involved with someone that's really possessive. Somebody here could be a Cancer rising. We also have Aquarian energy and Taurus energy. This person loves their freedom and they're very hard to read. The person coming towards you here could have darker hair, could have a pair of signature sunglasses they wear all the time. You could. Three of Cups energy, you could meet this person when you're out with friends. Some of you, this is a friends with benefits. Some of you may actually feel like you are kindred spirits with this person, that this is someone you've been searching for your entire life. This person can overindulge though, and they have some kind of status in the community for some of you. They are in big D energy. You could be meeting someone new, or this is someone from your past that you have never been with, but they've like in an actual relationship and they've made you feel rejected in some way in the past. This person just, thinks and thinks and thinks and thinks some more. They've been thinking about you a lot. There's a lot of choices and options. You could even have more than one person ask you out on a date in the next seven days. You could actually go out as a group with friends. Um, <clears throat> this person is someone that gets their feelings hurt easily and they can be moody. Their mood fluctuates here. You seem to be very family oriented and this person loves that about you. Seven of swords in reverse, five of swords energy and the devil in reverse. Okay, this person wants to come clean about whatever they've been lying about. Be careful to not get in an argument in the next seven days. There's something that this person could be coming in telling you. They're trying to break free from low vibrational energy. As I said, there's uh, some kind of, this person's very possessive. They could be materialistic. They could deal with addictions. They could get drinking and reach out. They could actually reach out to you while they are drinking, telling you that they love you, that they miss you, <clears throat> something like this. This is somebody here. What do they want to come clean about? They want to come clean with you. Um, in the past, they've been a little combative. If you know this person, for those that don't know this person, you're meeting someone and, you know, again, friendship, friend zone. You see what I mean? A lot of you soulmate energy, kindred spirits here. This person wants to tell you why they put you in the friend zone for some. What they want to tell you is that they feel really intimidated by you. you. Either your beauty stands out or you do very well for yourself or there's a lot of suitors after you. This person could be coming in to have a friendship right now for some. They can tell you that they, they want to take it slow. Some of you are meeting a brand new soulmate through friends and this is somebody that is going to be very honest with you and you're finally going to be able to break the chains that bind you to a past person. Why is this person feeling, um, why are they thinking so much? Why are they in their head here? You all could have had some kind of argument. It may have been uh, three weeks, three months since you have spoke.
this person loves you. They have unconditional love for you. They've been thinking and thinking and thinking because they have some kind of idea of what a relationship is. And it seems like this is someone that wants to be, they're always wanting to be envied. They're always wanting to be seen. They want people to look at them like they have the best designer this and that, or they're the best at something here. They wanna have this high profile relationship. They've been meeting other lovers and um, they're realizing here that they have a lot of unconditional love for you or no one compares to you. For some of you, you are finally getting over an ex and there are a lot of options, but you may be the one going round and round in your mind. Is it time to move on? And those who are ready, you could meet somebody that really uh, allows you to shine. This person could do quite well for themselves. You may end up being a couple that people envy. This person coming towards you wants a solid foundation. They could date a lot because they're looking for the perfect lover or they're looking for the right fit for them. Why do they seem so possessive here in their energy? You could be married to this person. Some of you are married, but this person is toxic. They're low vibrational. They're closed up. They've avoided having any real emotional conversations with you or th this is someone who has got a lot of emotional blocks and burdens, but they're very possessive over you. They look at you as someone that is their wife or husband. They look at you as someone almost like you are theirs. Even if you haven't been in communication, if this person was to find out you were dating, for example, they would really have a hard time accepting it because they look at you like you are theirs. Those that are meeting a new lover in the next seven days, that this new person coming in will want to be focused only on you and they will want you to focus only on them and they could actually be a little possessive and have some emotional blocks and burdens. So be careful if you're meeting new lovers right now. Somebody here could have a profession that they have to actually dress for like suit and tie dress they could have a very high powered position. It looks like most of you, this is a past person and you're getting an apology. I just wanna stand here and look at you. There is a pain in my heart for every single moment we spend apart. I am sorry I waited this long to apologize. See what I mean? They're starting to understand here that no one compares to you, that they have unconditional love for you. Some of you, this person has been dating other people and they haven't been able to recreate the feeling they had when you all were together, or they have been shopping around for options, understanding that they're hurting you and that they owe you an apology because what they wanted has been in front of them this whole damn time. Somebody here could have gray hair. This person could have gray hair. You all could be a bit of an older couple. Some of you, this person's beard is a different color than their hair is another message I'm getting. Some of you could own a pet bird as well. So why, why is this person hurting and not doing anything about it? What's stopping them? Hmm. Oh boy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot in reverse. Cancerian energy again. Some of you, this person's in a relationship with a very greedy, very toxic, very overburdened. This person, this third party overburdens them. They threaten to take everything. They are one of these, one of these partners who this person is either A, being supported by, or B, doing the supporting. And um, 
they're lost. They don't have a direction. They're all over the page. They could have gotten themselves involved with a very greedy, very low vibrational, toxic karmic, and this is their karma, like Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It, some of you, this person has a mother wound. They have a wound from childhood, and it's one of the reasons why they behave the way they do. But for a lot of you, this person's in a relationship with somebody that's took them through it. And they're starting to understand that they either made the wrong choice or that they have got to get out of this relationship. They could just be staying kind of cups in reverse. The magician in reverse. Wow, wow, wow. This is falling apart. If this person has children to a third party, there's so much manipulation, lies over this third party is over emotional very jealous, threatens to keep the kids from them for those that have younger children, threatens them. If they see you, they're going to do A, B, or C. If they get split up, they don't care. But if they start dating you, you know, they're going to do this, this, and that. They're trying to keep this person away from you actively. This person could have a mother or a sister that's very narcissistic and it's affected them big time. It's affected the way they behave, the way they look at relationships. Why? Who's being manipulating here? <clears throat> They're both manipulating each other. This person manipulated the third party. The third party has manipulated them. There's a lot of water in this energy, Piscean energy. Something has came out, Gemini energy. There, there was a decision made in love and it has backfired big time. There's no emotional stability. There's fighting and screaming. They could even put hands on each other is the message I'm getting. This person wants a playful, honest connection, but instead they got some yo-yo up and down, crazy ass third party where one day they're one way and the next day they're another and they have both started manipulating one another. They have both started telling lies to each other. This person feels like they're, that the karmic is in control that they're not in control of their life anymore they feel like they have lost some kind of control of their own life or their own emotions what do they plan to do in the next seven days please what do they plan to do in the next seven days hangman again tower wow all majors well they're going from uh being in a relationship or being involved with a karmic to having a huge tower moment and becoming single, nine of pentacles energy. In the next seven days, this person has some major tower moment to come with this bitter, greedy karmic. Tell me about this. There's something happening behind the scenes here that you may not be seeing. Sagittarian energy here, scorpionic energy. There's some gossip coming out. There's going to be rumors about this. If you start to hear rumors or whisperings that there is a breakup or a huge drag beat down, drag out fight, come back and let us know. In the next seven days, there's a lot of lessons, a lot of anger, not with you, but with a third party. They're going to be very triggered. They're learning something about the karmic and shifting their perspective. They've been depressed. They've been hot and cold. They've been very inconsistent coming in and texting you occasionally and, and just to keep you sending you mixed signals, telling you that you all are going to meet up, then canceling, then you don't hear from them for a month. Whatever is happening here, uh, the shit is hitting the damn fan. There is like a lot, a lot, a lot here, guys. Tell me about this karmic in the tower, please. What is happening here with the tower?
person causing negativity could be an air sign, an energy vampire, excessively demanding and needing emotional support, spreading rumors about you. You see what I mean? This third party, I don't want to trigger anybody, but this karmic seems to hate you. They're posting things directed towards you. There's some posts that they may find. There's some of you, what this third party is going to find is old pictures, videos of you and this person. They're going to find that they've kept them or that they're watching your social. This third party is just excessively demanding. They always need this person's attention. They're an energy vampire. They've been spreading rumors about you. You could actually hear this. Like I said, there's rumors, there's gossip, there's something that you could hear through the community in the next seven days that this karmic has been saying. Somebody here could have naturally curly hair. Somebody here could wear a darker red lipstick. This is a person that got their self involved with a karmic because they were out here dating other people or they've been with this third party for so long it's been 20 years they've cheated numerous times on one another and this relationship is so bad at this point that it's just got to end and the divine is coming in and wiping it out there's a lot going on behind the scenes in the next seven days most of you this will not affect you immediately but you'll start hearing whisperings of it or this person's going to contact you most likely late night telling you what happened here i hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day love and light